Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Great, teacher. Oh, why? What happened today? Tell me. A little tired, but we need some rest. Always, right? Always a lot of work at always yes. things to do. Okay, good. So tell me, what did you do today? What happened at work? Good evening. Good evening. No, we're okay. So, guys, tell me, what happened today? What did you do? Go ahead, Santiago. Hello, teacher. Hello. You can hear me? Yes, Santiago. Hi. So go ahead and tell me, what did you do? Wait a minute. Okay, we all have time. I can't, hear you. I can't hear you. Okay, no problem, Santiago. Try to fix or disconnect and connect again. All right, let's try the next one. Okay. Morena, what did you do today? Uh, good evening, teacher. This day is very difficult in my work and very more uh, work <laughs> many uh, prepare documents and uh, send emails uh, is difficult today okay good remember Thank you very much for sharing, Mariana. Remember yesterday, the topic is describing problems at work or describing problems. We can use two forms to describe problems. What are the two forms that we learned yesterday to describe problems? Um, uh, My pants are stained. Uh, one minute, teacher. Okay, no, for everyone, everyone. <laughs> what were the problems that we learned yesterday? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we uh, we are using past past participle. Mm -hmm. uh, um, has um, adjective. Uh, an adjective and and nouns to the structure. Subject mm, plus have or has mm, plus no, or there is, there are, must now. Okay, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, in this moment, we're going to practice it with our partners. We're going to make groups and we're going to describe about our day. What did you do today and what are you going to talk about? Take a moment with your partners and we're going to go to our groups and make sure that we talk, right? Use the grammar that we learned yesterday. Describing problems, past participles, right? Uh, chipped, broken, torn, late, the different situations or a noun. We are ready? Perfect. Only a few moments to talk about your day and some of the difficulties in the day. Okay, are you having some problems? Uh, 
Enelda, Dulce, José. Nelsa Dulce, José, Natalie, are you okay? Hi, teacher. Hey, how Hello. are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, good. We are in the groups, but I think some people are having some problems. Hey, Nelda, are you having some problems? Yes, I have problems with Zoom. Okay, let me try to send you to a group to talk about your problems one more time. Let's see if we can fix them about your day, okay? The same for Nati. And Nelda, could you join the group? Hello. And Nelda, you having some problems? Laura, how are you? Laura. Hi, teacher. Hello, Laura. How are you? Hi, teacher. And you? Oh, good, good. Uh, trying to see. Uh, what? Are you okay, Laura? You you are coming late, or you're having problems with the internet? No, teacher. I don't have a problem. Okay. Okay, teacher. Excellent. So, tell me. What are some of the problems that you had today? What are some of the issues in your job? Um, in my job, um, I work in Ministerio de Hacienda. Mm -hmm. And the budget, I work with the budget. Mm -hmm. And what did you do today? Um, read the informants. Um, okay. reports, report, report, teacher. <laughs> okay, all right. So today we're going to continue looking at how to describe problems. Remember, yesterday we saw some ways, today we're going to learn on more ways to talk about problems. We're going to keep with need and with gerunds. This is the important for today. How to continue describing different situations. Has it ever happened to you that everything goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be fixed because everything keeps on breaking. Now listen to the conversation and find out what happened to these people. Don't forget to practice the conversation. Page 38. Exercise 6. Conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? 
No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant? Okay, so first things, let's take a look here. Any vocabulary that you don't know? What is burning? What is burning is in the picture. In the picture, you see that the food is with almost like in black. This is burning. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What is oven? Oven is where you cook the lasagna. You cook the lasagna in the oven. You and what is right away? Immediately. Right away is immediately. The other words are okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now let's listen to the rest of the conversation and identify what are the problems. You're cooking? Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. You noticed another tenant called? What was the tenant's problem? Type your answers on our discussion box. So, what was the problem or we listen again? Listen again, please. Okay, let's listen again. Identify the problem. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. What is the problem? Electricity. She has a problem with electricity. 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 Excellent. And what happens with the electricity? It's going off and coming back. Once. Correct. It's going off and coming back. Let's listen if there are other problems. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. Okay. Were there other problems or only the electricity? Only the electricity. Correct. Only the electricity. Very good. So, these are the ways that they use gerunds. Gerunds are ing, okay? So, as an example, the electricity keeps and then ing. The food keeps and ing. The food keeps burning. Uh, the electricity keeps going out. Or we use need. The light bulb, the refrigerator needs to be replaced. These are the two forms. 
okay? We can use needs for necessity or keeps for the action not finished, the action continuing. For example, sometimes with the internet, right? With the internet, that, uh, I keep losing the connectivity. Uh, I need to connect to my class. It's okay how to use keep and need to describe problems. So, so, no, so, so. No, so, so. Para que quede claro, calladito significa, teacher, yo entendí todo al 100% y no tengo ni una minúscula duda de lo que usted está diciendo. Ok, así lo entiendo. All right, thank you so much. Así me llega todo excelente. Un 110 van a sacar en el examen. All right. Let's practice a little bit. Here, we're going to see more of keep and need with gerunds. Relax. Then we're going to practice need and the ideas. Let's see how to describe problems. Maybe some more examples. Welcome. If you paid attention to the last conversation, you noticed the use of need and keep. I'll ask you to stay around and learn different ways to report problems. Describing problems too. Keep plus gerund. Everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. Need plus gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. Need plus passive infinitive. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. Now that you have listened to the audio program, we will keep on showing you how to describe or report problems. In this opportunity, we will do by using keep plus gerund, need plus gerund, and need plus passive infinitive. Do you remember what's the problem with the oven? That's right, the oven keeps burning everything. Let's stop here. Notice what follows keep, a gerund. Burning is a gerund. This is what we will study. Keep plus gerund. A... So what does this mean? This means that when you use the verb keep, the next activity is ing. Keeps burning, keep fighting, keep going. Keep doing all of the activities with keep, ing. So when you use keep, ing. When you use needs, it's going to be different. No need with ing. Need is with to. A gerund follows the verb keep when it refers to a repetitive action. My teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs. Her siblings keep fighting over the TV. Now we'll study need plus gerund or passive infinitive. Either way we use need plus gerund or need plus passive infinitive, it means the same. You may say, this chair needs fixing or this chair needs to be fixed. We now it's very important this example because it gives us the different forms right? We can use this chair needs fixing or needs to be fixed, but we cannot say keeps fixing. It's not logical to use the word keep. Needs is the necessity. Keep the action that is repeating. To be fixed. We hope you got the structure. You know, in my house, a room needs to be built. Can you think of two home improvements you would like to make? Can you type them on a discussion box? <clears throat> Choose any of the structures learned. Okay, so now we're going to do exactly that. We're going to talk about your house and in your house, what is necessary to change in your house? Okay, or what do you want to do? Okay, so for example, me, now I have uh, my house, I have more children. So in my house, 
I need to build a new room. I need to build a second bathroom. I want to have more bathrooms, okay? Why? Ah, because my wife keeps using the bathroom when I want to take a shower. Mm. The children keep uh, waking up at the same time and I can't use the kitchen. Different activities. What do you need to improve in your house? Okay. It's okay? It's Any okay. vocabulary? Any it's words? Okay. No vocabularies? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's take a look. If no vocabulary, let's check. Jose Arturo, how do you say goteando? Oh. Uh, Licking. Excellent, excellent. Raquel, Areli, how, how do you say arruinado? Ustedes me dijeron, no. I don't know, teacher. I don't know, ¿cómo I don't know? It's no, broken, teacher. No, 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 I don't know. ¿Cómo que no, I don't teacher, know? It's broken. Uh -huh. It's broken, Emerson. Excellent. It's broken. Very good. Uh-huh. Mm, very nice. Uh, uh, teacher, Tina, uh, we, yes, we can say, uh, we can, we can say the milk go off. Yes, for the milk, mm -hmm. not broken. Yes. Uh huh. Good, Dina. Uh, how do you say necesita ser pintado? It's clean to paint. Paint. And vimos la gramática. We have two forms. It needs. It's key. It need, need paint. Good idea. Needs painting or needs to uh, be painted or needs. Needs be painting. painting. Mm -hmm. Marvin, how do you say se necesita cambiar? I need the change. Okay. Change. It needs changing, needs to be changed. Exactly. There you go. So we can use need in the two form, right? But keep only one form. Keep with ing. The keep is with actions. Okay. We are ready? Yes, ready. Yes. Okay. Remember yes. the idea for your house. What do you want to change? improve or do differently in your house. In this moment, that's what we're going to do. And And Nelda, you still having problems again? Okay. Solo need. Entonces tendría que ser con I en G. Okay, entonces quedaría. My garden. My garden needs to be re remodeled. Remodeled. Good. The pronunciation. Remodeled. 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 Oh. Excellent, remodeled. Karen. Very nice. Okay. Excellent. Good. Y, 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 uh, another other form yes. sería my garden re remodel cómo sale con ing remodeling cómo okay my garden has my... to be remodeled my garden needs remodeling my uh -huh. my garden needs to be remodeled okay entonces sería my garden 
Ajá, la, para poner, usarla de, de, de la otra forma. De ING. Ajá, y, ajá. Needs remodeling. Needs uh, remodeling. Sería my garden is remodeling. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, like the, like the car. Como tu carro. My car needs fixing. Or my car needs to be fixed. Dice, digo, necesito pintar mi carro. Ah, uh, my car needs to be painted. Paint. My car needs Paint. painting. Painting. Oh. Excellent. Continue practicing. Yeah. Continue. Very nice. Natalie, Edith, ¿cómo están practicando con el micrófono apagado? Um. Natalie? Eh, buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están practicando si los dos tienen el micrófono apagado? ¿Cómo vamos a mejorar el inglés? Vamos a ver, aquí voy a escucharlas a dos, a las dos, vamos. Eh, yo realmente no he entendido el tema. Ok, Edith. ¿Y Natalie? Eh, sí, eh, dijo que teníamos que practicar eh, con la de keep y need, ¿verdad? Perfecto, perfecto. Edith, ¿por qué no preguntaste antes de hacer los grupos que eh, mencionar que no habías entendido el tema? Eh, porque siempre lo dice en inglés, entonces no le entiendo. Cuando, le, cuando da la respuesta, la dice en inglés, entonces hay palabras que no las entiendo. Y queda lo mismo. Ah, ok, ok. No es como que diera la explicación en, en español, por lo menos para captar la idea de qué es lo que está diciendo. Por oh. ejemplo, yo no sabía qué, qué significaba keep. Entonces, ah, okay. eh, Need, sí, ya sé que es necesitar, ¿verdad? Pero Kip no, no, no sabía qué era. Entonces, okay. ya me puse a ver los videos para tratar de entender. Entonces, eh, es... En ese caso, Edith, eh, siento que es excelente, excelente que estás viendo los videos eh, para poder estar seguro que estás entendiendo. Pero acuérdate, tú sos preavanzado. Significa que en inglés debes de estar entendiendo todo. Si te está costando entender todo, mira los videos antes de la clase para tener una mejor idea. Porque en avanzado, imagínate que yo te dijera, yo soy avanzado en, en japonés, en ruso, pero me tenés que explicar en español. Uh -huh. No tuviera lógica, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Entonces, ese es lo que te tenés que quitar. No tenés que tenerlo en español. Pero la necesidad de siempre hacerlo hace que vos sintas que no lo puedes captar. Tienes que hacer el esfuerzo para, hey, puedo hacerlo. ¿Cuáles son las técnicas? Uno, ver los videos antes. Dos, eh, captar y decirme las preguntas que no entendiste. Por ejemplo, hey, teacher, I don't understand y la palabra. Y así, poco a poco, vas el, eh, identificando cuáles palabras no entendés. Oh, ok. Ajá. Y así estamos más seguros que de verdad vas a agarrar el camino de ser bilingüe y no solo cuando la gente te habla en español vas a poder decirlo en inglés. Oh, okay. ¿Segura, Edith? Porque me voy a quedar aquí escuchando que des los ejemplos. Uh, ok. Uh... Oh, perfecto. Mid Edith, Natalie, como que si yo no estuviera, ¿qué hicieran? Uh, an example uh, could be uh, we need uh, practicing or we we have no, we 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 keep practicing. We we have to. Uh, <laughs> my my example is yeah um, need need to be uh, eight eight eight. How do you pronounce it? 
Eighteen. Eight. Eight. Um, um, needs to be played. Um, basketball. Um, other example. Okay, Edith, Natalie, thank you very much. Muchas gracias por hacer el esfuerzo. Las dos están totalmente mal porque no están haciendo la actividad. Está bien, me alegra, pero me da un poco de miedo que si yo no hubiera metido aquí al grupo a verlas a ustedes, todo este tiempo hubiera sido desperdiciado y no hubieran hecho nada. ¿Cuál era la actividad? Describir qué tienen que hacer en su casa, qué tienen que mejorar o cuáles son los problemas de su casa. ¿Ok? Así que no se preocupen, no tengan miedo. Si ustedes les dan miedo que toda la clase les va a escuchar, mándenme un mensaje privado. Ahí está en el chat, me lo pueden mandar solo a mí. Y así yo lo voy a ver y voy a saber si a ustedes les da pena. Porque yo sé que a veces, seamos honestos, da pena hablar en frente de todos porque creemos que somos lo único que no entendimos. Pero miren, las dos son compañeras y las dos no entendieron lo que tenían que hacer. Así que no se preocupen, sí. no son el único, el único grupo. Así que tranquilas, poco a poco vamos a ir mejorando eso de la confianza, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Okay. Excelente. No se lo olviden, pueden mandar en el chat, pueden preguntar las palabras, pueden olvidar los videos anteriormente. Pues, uy, hay muchas técnicas y si no saben, pregúnteme, ¿para qué estoy? para estar seguro que ustedes mejoren ese inglés, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Excelente, excelente. Así que ahora son chócale, las dos tuvieron miedo, pero de eso aprendimos. <risa> ok. Ok. Okay. Any questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, ask me. In our groups, um, I remember uh, we studied the example for keep, and we have a, a lot of groups where respect, for example, in the example, say, uh, keep, no, her siblings keep fighting, fighting. Use the letter, use the, uh, when the verb adds the letter S, I don't know why. For example, in the, in the other example, say, uh, I don't remember, but you, ah, the teacher keep, uh, no, I don't remember, but in, in what case use the letter, add the letter S in the third first? Correct. Okay. And in, in the other example, you have her siblings is in plural, not is at their person, okay? Correct. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Very Honestly. good. Excellent question. Remember, the rule is the same. The verb keep, but the verb he, she, it in the present have S. Always she works, he plays. Uh, the same for he keeps, she keeps. The same, he needs, she needs. It needs the same rule. In this moment, we're going to try to see if we understand a little bit about the ideas. Here we have many sentences. We are going to use the idea for keeps. We want to see what happens with each one, okay? This is from 1.8 describing the problem. Carla Guevara, can you please complete number one? No, number two. Eneida, number three. Eric Cardoza, number four. Uh, Natalie, number five. Morena Guadalupe, number six. Elvis, number seven. 
Laura Michelle number eight, uh, and that's it. And Karen, if they make a mistake, Karen Suleima, if they make a mistake, it's your responsibility to correct. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Let's try can, to. Can, can can you explain again, please? Explain what? What we what we going to do? Complete the sentence. We are going to complete the sentence that you see in this moment. This is for 1.8. You are going to select the correct part to complete the sentence. Example, Carla is going to give you number one. Kids breaking down. Yes. What is number one? Keeps breaking down sets. Okay, so let's read the sentence. My computer is driving me crazy. Carla, what happened? No, activate the audio, Carla. My computer is driving me crazy. It keeps keeps breaking now, breaking down. Okay, and that's it. Only select for you what is the problem with the thing. Thank you very much, Carla. Number two, who is number two? Morena, you were number two. Uh, okay. Uh, the balance on the remote control always stick. They, they keep jamming. Good, very nice. Number three. The UCD player often jumps to another song. It um, keeps crashing. Mm, not crashing. No. no. Jump. Keep skipping. Sky, sky, skipping. Skipping. Correct. Uh, skipping. Okay. Skipping. Because jump is saltándose. Skipping is saltándose. There you go. Very good. Good. Number four. For new flat screen, TV has a problem. It, let me see. Number four. Breaking down. It keeps crashing. Crashing. Mm, I see a lot of crashing. Okay. Maybe not crashing, but we try. Okay. What about number five? Um, those all, all the cell phones never work right anymore. They keep going dead. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Continue. Number six. Sometimes, sometimes Ed can't use his solar power calculator it uh, it keeps keeps breaking down okay good good and let's try number seven number seven my computer screen needs to be replayed it needs uh, freezing race freezing it's freezing yes it Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. And the last one, number eight. The answering machine never picks up pick up any call. It keeps it crashing. Crashing. Okay. All right. I see you like crashing. I veo que les gusta crashing porque muchas veces lo quisieron usar. All right, let's try. Vamos cuatro veces lo quisimos usar. All right. <laughs> Vamos a aprender qué significa crashing. Okay, don't worry. Okay, number one, keeps breaking down. Correct. This means stop functioning. Keeps breaking down. The buttons on the remote always stick. Correct. Keep jamming. This is and not go back up. It's stick. This is jamming. Okay. The CD player jumps. 
This is skipping, okay? Good. Mm -hmm. Number four, our flat TV screen has a problem. It keeps here. Ah, we put keep breaking down. Ah, but it was keeps breaking down, right? No, keeps crashing. Then these old cell phones never work right anymore. They, we put keeps going dead. Mm -hmm. Keep, uh, I put keep going dead because they. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Sometimes Ed can use a solar power calculator. Correct. It keeps breaking down. This one, yes. My computer screen needs to be replaced. It keeps freezing. Good. The answer machine never picks up any calls. It keeps going dead. Okay. No crashing. Okay. Now, what is the most important? The most important is remember when you have it, he, or she, you need S. Mm -hmm. Always we need S, right? This is the mm -hmm. first one. With I, you, we, they, no S. The other mm -hmm. is the vocabulary. Some of the words are similar. For example, breaking down, no function. Going dead, no battery, like the car. Let me explain with the car, easy to understand. I am driving. And the car, mechanical problems. The car broke down. Okay. I go, I, I go and I park the car. I am Metro Centro. But the car, no, start. No, vroom, 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 no. So this is go dead. Go dead, no battery. Breaking down, mechanical. Going dead, electrical. It's okay, the difference? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. It's clear. Good. Okay. So now we understand the difference. So when we describe the house, many times is need. But with when we describe the things, many times is keep. The refrigerator, the washing machine, the car. Ah, here is normal to use keeps. It's okay. Okay, I explain because in the next activity is we are going to practice the things with electronic. We're going to practice describing things that go wrong with electronic items. So before we continue, is clear? Okay, let's look at how to describe problems with electronics. Hello, we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. It, the buttons on the remote control always stick. They, the UCD player often jumps to another song. It, our new flat screen TV has a problem. It, those old cell phones never work right anymore. They, sometimes Ed can't use his solar powered calculator. It, my computer screen needs to be replaced. It, the answering machine never picks up any calls. It. Ready to describe a problem with an electric item you own? Follow my example. My computer keeps freezing. Type your examples on our discussion box. Okay. So here, first, let's make sure we understand all of the vocabulary. Here we have breakdown, crash, flicker, freeze, go dead, jam, overheat, and skip. Is okay the vocabulary or do you have questions? 
What is overheat teacher? Overheat is very common with the batteries. The battery in the cell phone, very hot. Who, who, who is overheat? Uh, what is jam? Jam is not continue, it's stop. This is jam. For example, maybe before you have a CD player and you put the disc in the CD player, but no return the disc. This is jam. The CD player is jam, no return. Mm. It's okay or so so? No, teacher, I don't know. Yes, it's okay. okay. Atascándose. What is it? Ja jamming atascándose. Excellent, Morena. Good idea. Next time we try to do it in English example, but good idea. Remember, Mori, the next you are going to be advanced. In advance, <gasps> no Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. But good. And good. Clicker. Clicker. Yes, Elvis. Clicker. Flicker. Eh, with the candle. With the candle, the candle flicker, like for the birthday. But the candle, no off, only flicker. Sometimes with the television, the television flickers. That's only for light. Yes, it's with lights. Correct. Very nice, Raquel. Any other words? It's okay. Overheat is clear. The idea overheats. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, amazing. Now we are going to practice the listening. We are going to listen two times, but we need to answer some information. We are going to listen to three people talking. Okay, three people talking. What does the person repair? And what is the typical problem? What does the person repair? What is the typical problem? And then the last one, what does the person repair? So we listen two times. You need to listen. The what is that that problem? What is the thing? And two, what is the typical problem? Listen to three people talk about their job. Complete the chart. One, Joe. I work in the watch repair center at a large department store. I repair all kinds of watches, but nowadays, most of them are pretty easy to fix because they all run on batteries. The most common problem is they need a new battery. Since that only takes a minute or so to fix, I always have plenty of time to tell my watch jokes, like this one. What time is it when an elephant sits on your watch? Time to buy a new watch. And here's another one. What time is it when the big hand is on the... Two, Louise. I repair luggage, mostly suitcases. I have a little shop at the airport. People spend a lot of money on luggage, and often all it takes is one flight for a suitcase to get damaged. The most typical problem, I guess, is the wheels. I fix the wheels on about 20 suitcases a week. It's not surprising, really, with the way those baggage handlers throw people's luggage around. You'd think they were playing ball the way they toss the suitcases. Three, Sam. I repair household appliances. The most frequent calls I get are from people who are having trouble with the garbage disposal system in their kitchen sink. Usually, the thing gets jammed because people put too much food into it at one time, or something metal or plastic has fallen down into it. It's usually pretty easy to fix a garbage disposal, but every once in a while, you run into situations that aren't exactly typical. One time, a little girl put her doll down into the disposal. She thought the doll would enjoy the ride. 
She couldn't get it back out again, and she was afraid to tell her mother. So when the mother went to use the disposal, it made a horrible noise and then died. And so did the doll. Okay. We're going to listen again. Don't worry. But first, what is your idea? What did you understand is the person repair in number one? Watches. 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 Okay. Watches. Watches. And what is the typical problem? They need a new the battery. battery. They need a new battery. Okay. And number two, what does the person repair? Luggage. Luggage. And suitcase. Luggage or suitcase. Okay. Let's try with suitcase. Suitcases. Good. And what is the typical problem? The wheels. Wheels. Okay. And number three, what does the person repair? Uh, the sink disposal. Mm, so, so specific. But there is another word. This one we're going to listen a little bit more. That just repair garbage disposers. But he's not this specific. He has another word for general. Listen one more time. Okay. <laughs> Listen to three people talk about their job. Complete the chart. One, Joe. I work in the watch repair center at a large department store. I repair all kinds of watches, but nowadays, most of them are pretty easy to fix because they all run on batteries. The most common problem is they need a new battery. Since that only takes a minute or so to fix, I always have plenty of time to tell my watch jokes, like this one. What time is it when an elephant sits on your watch? Time to buy a new watch. And here's another one. What time is it when the big hand is on the clock? Two, Louise. I repair luggage, mostly suitcases. I have a little shop at the airport. People spend a lot of money on luggage, and often all it takes is one flight for a suitcase to get damaged. The most typical problem, I guess, is the wheels. I fix the wheels on about 20 suitcases a week. It's not surprising, really, with the way those baggage handlers throw people's luggage around. You'd think they were playing ball, the way they toss the suitcases. Three, Sam. I repair household appliances. The most frequent calls I get are from people who are having trouble with the garbage disposal system in their kitchen sink. Usually, the thing gets jammed because people put too much food into it at one time, or something metal or plastic has fallen down into it. It's usually pretty easy to fix a garbage disposal, but every once in a while, you run into situations that aren't exactly typical. One time, a little girl put her doll down into the disposal. She thought the doll would enjoy the ride. She couldn't get it back out again, and she was afraid to tell her mother. So when the mother went to use the disposal, it made a horrible noise and then died. And so did the doll. Okay, now we have an idea. Here we have good number one, watches number two the battery okay number three suitcases or luggage and number or the next one is the wheels and the last one are appliances or household appliances remember in the platform you have to be careful and write exactly like that because if not is the in the platform is not accepted and the platform is going to say that it's wrong it's okay but 
in the second one, yes. uh, the, the case of Luis, yes. they didn't uh, as, accept suitcases and luggage either. Yes, they accept luggage and they accept uh, ah, only luggage. They don't accept suitcases. Correct. Only he repairs, they can accept luggage. Mm -hmm. Or luggage, yes, but he says specifically suitcases, but they don't accept suitcases for the answer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. in, the, in the third one, this about Sam, how do you spell household appliance? It's here in the chat, here, here in the video. Do you see the screen? Um, Dulce, can you see my screen? House. Ah, okay, okay. It's a letter. I have a, a mistake. Okay. Oh. Yes. Now, the uh, maybe you are correct. The correct spelling here and here is not correct spelling. The correct spelling is here. Household. Ah, okay. You see, here is not correct the U. The U is not correct. But ah, okay. if you put no capital letter, the mistake in the platform, you have to put U. But mm. if you put in capital letter, is the correct spelling. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? It's okay. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So now we are almost finished with the unit one. The last activity is a reading. Here with our poems, we're going to read, but we don't have time to answer. Only we have time to read today. So let's try to read a little bit before we finish the class. If not, it's no problem. Tomorrow we continue reading more. Who is going to read the first paragraph? The topic is trading spaces. Okay. I want to try. I want to try. Thank you. Please read. How fast can a home remodeling project be completed? About uh, 48 hours at least. That's the basis of the popular reality TV show called Trading Spaces. Correct. Who's the next one? Who would like to read the next part? I Please, Dulce. I see today okay. we have very scared people. No problem. Two sets of neighbors switch homes for two days and redecorate a single room in their neighbor neighbor home. Mm -hmm. But teams have the help of designer, a handyman, and a budget of one thousand dollars. At the end of the second day, the house reveals the route to the homeowners. Who usually say, wow, that's great. Sometimes, however, they get upset. Okay. In this moment, any words you don't know? Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Home owners. Uh -huh. What is home? <laughs> People? The people that buy the house, for example, is my house. I I am the homeowner. No rent. <laughs> it's okay, homeowner. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, and the switch. Repeat the pronunciation. Switch. So, 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 so. The second paragraph to set of neighbors switch homes. Ah, switch. Switch is, for example, uh, I go to your house 
and you go to my house. We switch. Like, like interchange. Like, change. like exactly. Like change is interchange. This is switch. It's okay. Um, yeah, uh, teacher. Yes. Where is handyman? Handyman. Yes. Hey, excellent word. This is that we have the Salvadorian version. The Salvadorian, Salvadorian version, handyman, the man that fix everything, electricity, the cement, the wall, the, uh, the oh, yeah. plumber, is the handyman. Okay, thanks. It's okay, handyman, Jose? Yeah, yes. Clear. Yes, but in English, the name is not like in Spanish, right? It's some professional handyman. And in Spanish, Michael. Salvadorian man. <laughs> in a Spanish todologo, eh? <laughs> yeah, like this. Exactly. Exactly. Well, today we don't have time to finish the reading, but we are advancing excellent. Tomorrow, at the beginning, we're going to finish the reading, finish unit one, and begin unit two. So please come on time. Because if not, you are going to miss the reading. And tomorrow we begin unit two. Any questions today before we finish? Not teacher. No, no teacher. teacher. No teacher. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No teacher. Thanks. Thank you, teacher. Wait, just one pause. Just one pause. <laughs> with no questions. Uh, para todos, no tengan pena en preguntarme. Créeme, en, me metí en varios grupos y en más que un grupo había teacher. Qué bueno, ¿qué vamos a hacer? <ríe> Ni se imaginan cuántos grupos preguntaron lo mismo. Créeme, no son los únicos. Si no les quedó claro, pregúnteme. Si les da pena preguntar en el grupo, mándeme un mensaje aquí en el chat o simplemente levanten la mano con los emojis. Ahí, ahí también hay el emoji y yo puedo ahí ver las diferentes emojis cuando ustedes las ponen. Y así voy a saber yo que, hey, tienen alguna duda o algo. Pero lo más importante es no tener temor a consultar. No tener temor a preguntar. Muchas veces eso es lo que impide que vos tengas un avance con el inglés. No es tu habilidad. No es el maestro. Es simplemente que no querés preguntar para no parecer el ridículo. Si nunca haces el ridículo, Nunca vas a mejorar. Así que créeme, para mí fue increíble si ustedes podían ver todas las personas y todos los grupos que, mire, ¿y qué es lo que vamos a hacer? <ríe> Creo que hubieran visto que, hey, si una persona me hubiera preguntado, se hubieran evitado un montón de grupos tener la misma situación. Así que no tengan pena mañana, si no entienden, solo hagan el comentario. Con mucho gusto les voy a ayudar. Mi propósito es solo ayudarles para que ustedes se quiten ese miedo y puedan hablar con gente en inglés sin ninguna dificultad. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a nice night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take care.